okay like i said i don't really look at jewelry but if i am it's gonna have to be very affordable because i'm like i can buy more jello okay hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here welcome my name is sierra and in today's video we are going to be talking about jewelry i know y'all probably so like caught off guard with me doing this video because i like don't wear jewelry that much but i do want to start getting into it i don't really own i think i own like one like sterling silver piece but i don't own any like oh and then this ring too but anyway i want to build my jewelry collection you guys so i purchased a couple pieces on essence um they haven't come yet but when they do come y'all already know y'all gonna be the first to see it period i figured i would give you guys a little bit of background history on the brands that i chose to go with um and also show you guys a couple of the pieces that they carry so without further ado let's get into this video so the first jewelry brand that i'm going to be talking about today is actually ferris and it was founded by ferris dugraff who was actually an architect and then she made jewelry as like a side hustle um, but she soon came to find that she really liked making jewelry so she enrolled herself at london central st martin's which is like the best fashion school like ever i feel like they have their own like fashion show on Vogue and shit. So major. After graduating, she established her brand in Seattle, Washington. And I was reading you guys on her about page and it said that she would like go around decked out in her jewelry from like head to toe. And she would like go to her favorite boutiques and like chat up the manager who happened to be the store manager. And now today her line is like carried at their boutiques. So that shows you girl, you got a network, period. Ferris line is really meant to embody like an old school modern spirit. I would say her pieces are like definitely wearable from anyone from the age of like 16 up. Like I feel like she has a piece for like every age bracket. She uses a lot of organic elements with her jewelry. So you will see Keshi pearls and onyx gemstones, sterling silver and bronx. Bronx, why I say it like that? I've been in New York too damn long. What a straight face to that girl said bronx. No, bronze, okay? Ferris actually describes her jewelry as fresh and playful and unpretentious. And one of her favorite pieces is actually her ear cuff, which is the piece that I happen to purchase off of Essence. I cannot wait for it to come. And the reason why I purchased an ear cuff and I'm getting into ear cuffs more is because obviously I have a bald head. And I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be cute, but you can see it. I ain't got no hair over it. It's just gonna be a vibe. And this ear cuff that I purchased, you guys, is actually rose gold outer, but underneath is Bronx. <laughs> bronze i can't say that word i can't say that word. after living in new york for six months y'all cannot say that word bronze bronze i love all of her jewelry but i would say the most i love like her ear cuffs i also have my eye on this one right here i just like the little swivel swerve of it and also i like the rose gold but i decided to go with this ear cuff because i don't know it's just thicker and i feel like it'll cuff my ear perfectly the model looks like she has a little ear like me so hopefully it will work out because i know jewelry is a little tricky nextly you guys are going to get into maria black who founded her jewelry collection in 2010 in copenhagen and what really attracted me to her pieces you guys is it is very like chic and minimal she doesn't do like a lot of like gaudy looking pieces which i really love as you guys can see like for instance these little earrings that i wear all the time i really love just really simple sleek pieces if I am going to wear jewelry. She actually offers a very unique piercing experience. So if you live in Europe, because it's only available in Europe, I would definitely look that up. So I decided to go with this starlit silver necklace here. As you guys can see, it is very, very simple. Okay, I can wear it with just about anything. It is 100% sterling silver. And what immediately caught me, you guys, was of course the price. Okay. Like I said, I don't really look at jewelry, but if I am, it's going to have to be very affordable because I'm like, I can buy more jewelry. Okay. For $112 for a sterling silver necklace, like you honestly can't beat it. Um, but what I love about sterling silver is it upholds over time. Even if it does get a little dirty, honey, you take a little cloth, wipe it off, and she good to go. It's funny because Connor was even saying that he wants to wear this piece. It's definitely a piece that could be worn unisexly. I think that's the word and like i said is 925 silver and if you guys don't know what 925 means when it comes to sterling silver it means that the piece is 92.5 percent silver authentic real silver and 7.5 percent other metal so it can be like copper or bronze there she go bronze or any other metal Silver is actually a very, very light material and it can be like molded into jewelry on its own. So that's why it has to be combined with 
other metals. Next, you guys, we're gonna get into Sophie Buhai, who is a Los Angeles jewelry maker. She was actually a runner up for the CFDA award, so she is not one to be messed with. She started her jewelry brand named after herself, Sophie Buhai, in 2015, and she focuses on really sculptural pieces. She uses a lot of heavy, solid sterling silver. Each piece is actually handmade in LA, you guys, and she actually uses recycled sterling silver. So she is ethically conscious as well. So props to her. And you guys, a fun fact about Sophie is she actually designed jewelry for the French label La Mer. She did, I think, three seasons, but I think 2016 was like the most highlighted in what you can really find on the web. So the piece that I decided to purchase off of Essence from Sophie Buhai's collection is these sterling earrings here, you guys. And it's only because I, again, I feel like I need to start wearing jewelry more because I have a bald head and I just wanna feel cute, I wanna look cute. So I feel like I need a very nice, practical, everyday pair of earrings, and I feel like these are definitely going to be that for me. Um, I'm only hoping that they aren't gonna be super heavy because y'all, I don't know if y'all can see this, but this earlobe got split, okay? I've been telling people that like my mom got my ears pierced when I was a baby and they like pierced it too low, but I don't even really think that's it. I don't know, because I was thinking about it and I actually used to wear like hoop earrings when I was younger, but like not a lot, but I guess it don't take for you to wear them a lot, a lot for your hole to like split like this, but yeah. So I'm hoping they're not gonna be too heavy because I actually wear earrings in like the second hole for this ear. So I hope it just like don't rip my other one because I can't, I can't have that. So I can't wait for them to come you guys so we can see what they looking like for real, for real. But on the picture you guys, I think they are so cute. I think they are so classic. Uh, what I really love about them and what really attracted me to them was the thickness of the hoops. Um, I feel like it just really draws attention to your ears in like a good way because they're just really beautiful to look at. Also, of course, 925 silver, so gonna last me forever. So you guys getting into Alagahiri, which I didn't purchase anything from this brand, but I'm gonna let y'all know later because I actually need y'all help on something. But before I get into telling you guys a little bit about the brand, I do wanna say that this was the only brand, you guys, whose website that I went to who had a statement for Black Lives Matter right on their homepage, okay? As soon as y'all go to Alligator Honey, the statement is there. I mean, I think it's still there. I don't think they took it down because I was just looking at it like two days ago. And actually right now, you guys, they're giving 10% of all of their online profits to refugees to help women and children who have suffered from domestic violence. Alighieri was founded by Rosh Mahatani. I hope I am pronouncing her name correctly. And her collection, you guys, is centered around all about the Italian poet from the 1300s, Dante Alighieri. And I hadn't heard about him prior, but I was just like, I briefly had to was like reading about him and I said his name aloud and Connor was like, I studied him in school. And I was like, that's, that's just really interesting. Like everything is everything. Everything is like linked somehow. Rosh actually studied Elegy Harry at Oxford University. I guess she was just so moved and she was like, I'm gonna base my whole collection around his best work, which is actually the Divine Comedy. And if you're unfamiliar with Divine Comedy, you guys, it is about a pilgrim who makes his way through hell, the purgatory, and I think paradise. And through his journey, you guys, he comes across all of these like distorted creatures and really scraggy landscapes and terrifying demons. So she really plays off of that concept with her jewelry. So you will see really imperfect pieces covered in gold because she actually said that she imagined the creatures that he would come across drenched in gold, which is interesting. And when I say her collection, you guys, it automatically made me think of like medieval times. And after reading about her, I guess I wasn't too far off. And the reason why I'm like kind of on the fence, you guys, about purchasing a piece from Alligahiri is because I need y'all advice, okay? Let me know what y'all think. Cause I have my eye on these earrings here and I'm like, I want to build my collection up with timeless pieces first, y'all know me. But I don't feel like these earrings are that timeless. I mean, they are like pretty big. They will be pretty big on my ears, especially cause I have tiny ears. But I feel like they are such a nice like statement piece, especially for the price. I mean, the original price was 325 and now they're on sale for like 114. So that's the only reason why I would even think about getting them, but I'm just like, I don't think that they're super timeless. And it's like not something that I feel like I would feel comfortable with wearing every day. Cause it is such like a, like again, statement piece. But I'm like for that price y'all, like should I, I don't know. What do you guys think? I don't know. 
But I'm like, I just want, I won't wear it every day. That's my thing. And also I'm just like, well, let's go with the wardrobe that I have. But it will also just look really cute with just like a t-shirt. She also has the necklace to match you guys, which is really, really cute as like a little set. But again, I'm just like, I don't know if I'm there yet. So y'all help me help us help me, okay? All right, you guys, so that actually sums up this video. Those are some of the jewelry brands that have caught my eye so far. Be sure to let me know what you guys' favorite jewelry brands down in the comments are because y'all stay putting me on. Thank you so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Peace.